Welcome to this week's PHP Development Podcast by Matthew Kamani. For any questions about this podcast or any other resources, visit www.c2bsolutions.co.uk or email php at c2bsolutions.org.uk. We hope you enjoy. So um, I know I've heard of TDD and BDD. And yeah. yes, I've heard of DDD, but I've actually not heard anyone talk about this in, in detail. I haven't looked at it enough. So can you give us a, a simple breakdown of DDD? Uh, so... I'm not an expert. I, I do basic stuff. In, I just started doing working with domain driven design. Mm-hmm. Basically, the point is, uh, the point is, your code should represent your business logic talk. So you mm-hmm. should have an ubiquitous language. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, you you should you should have a business expert, and that you can talk to, and they they can explain to you all the stuff that is being used and you should basically translate that into code. Mm -hmm. So if you're dealing with orders or packages and stuff like that, you shouldn't, you should have exactly that in your code. So when you start talking to some business expert, Mm -hmm. you, they, you can talk in the same language and you can understand, they can understand. And if you decide to show them a part of the code, Mm -hmm. the code should talk, as they explained it, the logic to you. So right. if you're doing some ordering of packages or stuff like that, so when someone that isn't code aware comes mm-hmm. and sees the code, I mean, it's not going to be like 100% he understands everything, yeah. but like the code explains the point of the stuff, of the things it's doing. Okay. Uh, so okay. another stuff, another thing is uh, most of the time mm-hmm. there is like dynamic models mm-hmm. where you have your entities that just have getters and setters. Mm-hmm. In the past that was fine, but in domain driven design you basically put your logic in your models and in your aggregates. Mm-hmm. So your, your models are aware of what's going on and they have the logic you are actually executing instead of having is scattered around everywhere. Fantastic, fantastic. I mean, uh, we've done some, uh, a talk before, uh, just a brief talk on TDD and BDD. But mm-hmm. now that you've mentioned DDD, do you want to do like a quick refresher um, of TDD and BDD? Well, uh, to be honest, it's uh, TDD and BDD are very, re- really around testing, while mm-hmm. DDD is more about writing the code that mm-hmm. translates the business logic t- basically to this translation of the business logic into code. Mm. So BDD and TDD are mostly doing tests and doing tests before you start coding. Yeah. Basically you can do TDD and DDD together. Mm-hmm. And most of the people do that. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I don't because I don't like to test driven development. Mm-hmm. I'm, I like more behavior driven development because mm-hmm. it, to me it's talk better yeah. the person. So yeah, uh, when you said refresher, what what did you ex- exactly mean with that? Yeah, I just meant what you were you just almost like um, refreshing my memory again, um, your understanding of TDD and BDD and, and so on. So That's usually what. TDD is when uh, it's basically you write tests before your code. Mm-hmm. So basically, you you write a test, you see test fail, you implement enough of the code to make test pass, and then you refactor everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the problems of TDD, or at least how a lot of people understood it, is that your every class should have a test and your, that your every method should have a test for it. And to be honest, I, I don't agree with that mm-hmm. because that makes your test very coupled to your code and it becomes very really hard to refactor stuff. Because, I mean, everyone is going to refactor. You, you should refactor all the time. If you have a chance, if you see something is, you could write better, you should refactor. Mm. But if that refactoring requires you to change the test every time, you will just stop doing it at one point. Right, right, right. Interesting. Thanks for listening to this week's podcast. For questions, feedback, suggestions, or topics you'd like us to cover in the future, please email php at c2bsolutions.org.uk. Thank you.